Treasury Stock Basics Problem 2. On March 31st, Year 3, Lemon Inc. shows the following data on its balance sheet. Stockholders' equity is as follows. Common stock, $1 par, 1,130,000 shares authorized, 250,000 shares issued, 220,000 shares outstanding, $250,000, paid in capital in excess of par common, $2,550,000, retained earnings, $4,740,000, treasury stock, 12,000 shares at $37, $444,000, total stockholders' equity, $7,000,000, $96,000. Assume that Lemon sells 1,100 shares of Treasury stock at $34 per share. What is the total stockholder's equity after this transaction? This question is asking for total stockholder's equity after this transaction. So make sure you, you focus on the language, what, what it's asking. Now we've got a bunch of different things. We've got the stockholder's equity given to us and total stockholders' equity here. As you can see, we've got common stock, we've got paid in capital in excess of par common, we've got retained earnings, and we have treasury stock. Remember that treasury stock is a contra stockholders' equity account and it reduces the paid in capital section because the corporation is buying back its shares of stock. The additional information is that Lemon sells 1,100 shares of treasury stock at $34 per share. All we have to do here is take the total stockholders' equity of $7,096,000. And we just have to subtract away from that the this additional transaction because this is a pretty straightforward question. It's really just understanding what, the, again, the language and also understanding what, how this affects stockholders' equity. Again, you're given this total stockholders' equity before this transaction, and it wants you to, and it, it's, it's asking what is the total stockholders' equity after this transaction. So when a corporation, right, this is Lemon Inc., when a corporation sells, that's the key word where you need to pay attention, when it sells back or sells shares of treasury stock, when it sells shares of treasury stock, what it's doing is it's reissuing them. When a corporation buys treasury stock, it's buying them from the actual stockholders and it's taking them back so that way there's not as many shares outstanding. When a corporation sells treasury stock, it's putting those shares of stock back out there so that they're now considered outstanding. So then remember, outstanding shares goes up. Since it goes up, that means that the total stockholders' equity should go up. Again, treasury stock, when, you, when the corporation buys it back, treasury stock goes down because it's a contra stockholders' equity account. That's right here. When the shares are sold or reissued, they're going back out there now. New new shareholders or the current shareholders they have more shares of stock. So now now treasury st or the stockholders equity is going up because that that contra account is being reduced. We go ahead and we're going to add to this amount the seven million ninety six thousand. We're going to take eleven hundred eleven hundred shares. So one thousand one hundred shares times thirty four dollars per share per share. And we're going to get a total amount of $37,400. We're going to increase our stockholders equity by $37,400. Again, we're increasing it because this treasury stock account is being reduced because those are no longer treasury stock because they're going back out there to various owners, various stockholders. We increase, we, we add these two numbers together, we increase them. We get $7,133,000. $400. And that is our answer. That is the new total stockholders equity after this transaction. Really, this comes down to just understanding what it's asking, the key language of selling treasury stock, understanding that that's putting it back out there for stockholders to, to acquire.